How's it going, guys? Our Triple XC here, and um, I was really bored yesterday. Um, oh, also, thank you uh, for all the like love and appreciation and stuff for the video yesterday, uh, explaining that I actually got invited to the preview event. So, um, a lot of love in the comments and stuff, and I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, I know it was like a really candid video, uh, so <laughs> uh, I, I guess it might have felt like I was asking for that, but I really wasn't, so thank you guys for being so nice. Um, anyway, I was really bored yesterday. Um, I was at work uh, doing uh, some chaperoning for a dance, and I was really bored, so I started a Twitter conversation, um, and here's my Twitter if you haven't uh, yet uh, followed me. Um, I I post a lot of relevant stuff. Um, I start up conversations like I did here, uh, which we're about to talk about. And um, I retweet anything that's really important, anything from Bakugan that's really important, anything from other people that's really important. Um, I kind of cover leaks. I try not to do too much, but if it's really interesting, I'm definitely going to retweet it uh, so that you guys uh, know what's up. But anyway, go to my Twitter. Uh, we're approaching 550 followers. So uh, that's cool. If you want to get that up to like 600, that'd be dope. If not, just uh, watch the video and hang out. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, so what I did yesterday was start up a conversation. Um, and I said, so since I'm bored, let's start a conversation. And this is what I want you guys to interact with on this video. In the comments down below, after you watch kind of what we talk about here, what do you want from uh, Bakugan Armored Alliance? And if you don't know what that is, in Season 2 of Bakugan, it's going to be called Bakugan Armored Alliance. Um, we don't know officially what the set name is. We don't know anything like that for the first card game set. But definitely from the show... Uh, the second season of the show is going to be called Armored Alliance. Um, and I did make one video about a Nilius that was leaked. Only reason I leaked it because it was in full packaging and looked like a done deal. Only reason I showed it. Um, and uh, it ha the, the thing about Armored Alliance is that it's looking like it's going to be um, like Bakugan with like their armor peeled off almost. Like the Nilius, if you go to my video, has like... Instead of like these like mechanical wings of the one up here and they're like sharp and pointy, it looked like bat wings and it was kind of cool looking. Um, and it's like more like organic. Uh, so that's kind of like what they're going for or it seems like that's what they're going for. And uh, I wanted to see what you guys wanted from Bakugan out of Armored Alliance because this is round two. This is where we can make adjustments. This is where we can fix things. This is where, you know, the game can exponentially grow and and become a better game all right so uh let's go into it and see what some of the community said i have i had a good amount of people that's only why i'm doing this video um maybe to bring it to bakugan's attention see if they can do anything to help us out but i want you guys in the comments to tell me what do you want out of bakugan armored alliance um me personally uh i just want um better models uh and what we've seen so far looks like they're going to be a lot better um also uh it, card game wise there are things leaking about uh some gimmicky things that are coming out um judging off of the holes that we were talking about in my Nilius video it's looking like those are coming true i'm not going to show them because i don't want bakugan to be mad at me or anything like that but if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about um and i just want those to be done right and treated well the ones i've seen so far look fine um but i don't want to talk about that too much let's get into what the community said so i said what do you want from bakugan armored alliance first up we have ramen rider who said garganoid core and that would be actually really cool we did not get garganoid core there's a couple of bakugan from season one that never got cores so like halcor um garganoid maxator nobilius um couple other people like that, Pyravian, uh, all those guys. Uh, to me, I wish they would just kind of get rid of cores, to be honest with you. Um, if it was just all ultras, I think it would make the game a little more smooth. We wouldn't have so many Bakugan to keep up with and would make it a little bit easier of a game to get into because you don't have to go buy all these different things in all these packs. But it makes sense because with the way they market their toys and sell them and stuff, they have, you know two ultras and three cores and it's like you get two big ones and three little ones and for kids that's cool i understand why it's a thing 
Spin Master is the one that made that happen. I know the original Bakugan team actually didn't design for cores. And I kind of got a little inside information to where, like, that... <laughs> they weren't supposed to happen. Like, Spin Master asked them to, hey, can you do this and make a smaller version? And that's kind of like what happened. Excuse me if you can hear that car starting. Again, I'm right next to the window. Anyway, Gargonoid Core, that would be pretty cool. Uh, moving on, the Baku Twins uh, said a remake of my favorite Bakugan Longfly. And knowing me, I don't know anything about the old game. <laughs> uh, but that is a Bakugan that was released back in Season 3 in Gundalian Invaders. And it's the Bakugan on the profile picture. So if you go to the profile picture, shout out to Baku Twins. Um, this is the Longfly guy. And it looks looking like he's like a wasp kind of deal. Um, and I've been wanting a, a wasp. We have a Mantanoid for a bug. We have... Um, I'm drawing a blank now. I think we have another bug box gone, right? Am I crazy? I don't know. I'm not thinking right right now. But I, I've always wanted a wasp. I like wasp. Like I like bee drill. I like mega bee drill from Pokemon and stuff like that. And I think that would be a really cool Bakugan addition, and uh, something that we could kind of you know uh, make happen. Um, another one I want is a shark, and I've uh, I think I've showed that before, or especially on my Twitter. It's on here uh, of a custom shark bakugan concept and i think that would be dope so thank you baku twins Oop. next uh we have bakumentary um or robo sensei uh, a lot of people know him um he said with faction symbols to conform uh what am i saying <laughs> with faction symbols to confirm a bakugan's faction now i'd love to see that open up the opportunity for special treatments and what he meant by this i was kind of confused uh here but um if you looked at the Nilius video, again, I'm not going to refer to any of the other leaks. If you looked at the Nilius video that I did, um, the darkest symbol is now pressed in on the Bakugan, kind of like how they used to be. So, like, Hydranoid is, like, white and whatever here, but on his wing, he has the old darkest symbol. Uh, can we focus? Is it focused? It's definitely not focused. Oh, well, I can't do anything about it. Come on, Apple. Okay, anyway. But y'all see what I'm talking about. Um, the the new ones are going to have that same treatment. And so, like, this was Pearl or whatever. And so, what he means by special treatments is, like, you know, the symbol's there so you can have the set faction. Um, but you can change the paint on them. And that's something that I would like. They're different paint jobs. Because um, I love this. Uh, I was looking for this for a long time, and I had a friend uh, give it to me. Because I love the white. It's like a stark white, but it's darkest, so it's got like black accents to it. I think that's really cool. And I think that's something that could be implemented in the new ones really well. Especially with all the customs and stuff we see. Um, Going to have a sh custom showcase coming up here soon. I think that would be really awesome to see different styles of Bakugan. Um, and we haven't seen much. We've seen a couple translucents, but they're the limited editions that you never see. Uh, unless you're really lucky. Um, and then we have diamonds and that's cool, but we could have so much more, you know, it could be Pearl. I like Pearl or there was like a bunch of different ones. I think he said it here somewhere. Um, yeah, the granite stealth from stuff and the OG Pearl. So that's this, um, and translucent. So yeah, I think that that would be really cool. Thank you. Uh, Robo, uh, Baku Blade Legacy, um, said maybe some translucent colored Bakugan that aren't diamonds. Or just some color variations. So yeah, same thing. Um, I think that that would be really cool. And it's a perfect time to start implementing that. Um, and you know, they don't have to be the rare thing. It doesn't have to be like diamonds, you know? Like I think this guy wasn't exactly, uh, you know, the rarest thing in the world. If what I understand. I don't know what he's from. I, I got this from a friend. But, you know, you know, I love, you know, the clear, the clear plastic. Right? So just different ways of doing things and i think that we could implement that in the new game really well imagine a nilius ultra like this that would be awesome or like a garganoid ultra darkest like this that would be so cool <laughs> that's what we need to kind of go for in my opinion sorry if that was loud sorry um let's see uh Beyblade, Baku, BBTA, <laughs> he's got a long name, uh, the Australian uh, Baku tuber uh, and uh, tournament coordinator. Um, he said, since I focus on gameplay more than the toys themselves, and the only thing I want from the toys has been mentioned, I kind of just want more alternative foiling options and more constantly good, consistently good uh, BEs. 
uh, booster pulling is really boring at the moment and I don't have many arts to use. So this is something that in every TCG I'm like a diehard need for. And we don't have an inbox gun and we need, or in my opinion, I would love full art cards. I love full art cards. I come from Pokemon where we have these beautiful GXs. Um, and they, they, you know, they light up the packs when you pull a GX, even if it's not even a very good GX card, you're still like, oh man, at least this looks cool, you know? And recently with the, with the like hand drawn painted arts and stuff on some of these latest tag team GXs and stuff like that, um, it's just it's something that I feel like could work really well. And then in these new statues, like with these statue guys, I'm back. Uh, with those statue guys, we got these new foilings. Oh god! I dropped the camera. Okay. <laughs> uh, and with these statues, we got these new foilings. And if you notice, they're not hex. So a hex foiling. Um, if I have one around here, doubt I do. Um, hex foiling has the little hexagon things in it. Sorry, I don't have a card to show you, but y'all all know what I'm talking about. This is just kind of like normal. Like almost, uh, I think it's, what's it called? Secret Rare in Yu-Gi-Oh or something? I don't remember. But it's just straight up foiling. And it's like, if we had these and Hex, and it would just give us different hollow options, I think that'd be great. You know, these are nice. It, it, they're nice and crisp. And there's not too much going on. Uh, but you know that it's a you know special card. It's holographic. Um, I think that that could be great. And then also full art cards. You know. Imagine a character, full art character card. We have BEs, they're already coming out of the art. Kind of like old GXs back in the, or EXs back in the day in Pokemon. But imagine the whole card filled up with, you know, a Trox or something like that. I think it'd be awesome. And you, all, all we need, all you need for the character cards is just the number and the number. You're right. So, it, it could be done. I think Negative Legend made a, a concept of one of those a long time ago. And I liked the hell out of it on Twitter. It was really cool. Anyway, um... A lot of uh, other people were saying that they would like some more cameos or comebacks of old um, Bakugan from like the first shows and stuff. So Helios uh, is a big one that people would like to come back. Uh, Helios is dope. Uh, I love this Bakugan. Um, I, again, I don't have anything to do with the old show or anything like that. Uh, but I've always thought that this thing was awesome. And I know it's like really expensive now and really rare or whatever. Uh, but it's it's really cool, and I think it could be done again. Um, but, like, we see a lot of people who really want old stuff to come back just because they were involved in the old stuff. But you have to realize, this is a new game. Like, we can't keep calling back to the old thing. Now, I say that, but Pokemon just made another Charizard form. I don't know what to tell you about that. But for this, it's like we need to expand out into different things. And we are getting new ones. We saw a new one um, get leaked uh, recently that you can go look up. You probably know what I'm talking about. Um, that's a completely new thing. Um, but yeah, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh monster shot said, I want an armored dragonoid. That would be pretty epic. Uh, yeah, it would be pretty cool. It's armored Alliance, but from what we've seen, it's like they're stripping back the armor. So I don't know if we're going to get the armor back. I don't know how it's going to work. Um, so that would be interesting. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, Obsith, a uh, friend of the channel here, uh, said a couple things. Um, Tertonium uh, needs to make it to Bakugan. <laughs> Armored Alliance, that's like his favorite, so uh, I agree with you there. Um, no anime exclusive Bakugan. That's something to me that I think they need to stop doing. Um, you know, it's a whole conversation on Discord and on the internet and everything of people mad about these anime exclusives. Um, and I'm kind of on board with that. I, I, it, we should have Tico. <laughs> That's my thing. We need Tico to come out. Um, and then the other ones like Artulian and Apollyon. Um, if you watch the anime, I like the anime. I think it's kind of cool. Um, but it, we just need those things to come out. They shouldn't be on the show if you can't have them. Or at least make an impact on the show. I mean, Tico's like one of the main villains. He needs to have a thing. But, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. So, uh, was there more to this? I think so. Uh, don't make Bakugan that main characters use get released in other factions. I like that. Um, we should definitely get them as, you know, a, a normal, their normal faction. Uh, one thing I saw that was really cool, if I can get out of this for a second. I know I retweeted it somewhere. Um, uh, it's gone now. But um, 
Japan had gotten the uh, like a battle pack that has all of the Awesome Ones main Bakugan in one pack. And it's really cool. Um, I think that's something that we could get here and would be pretty successful. Um, and uh, more OG Bakugan lookalikes. Yeah. Uh, and this is where I kind of was asking why... Why do people want to have their old Bakugan back so much? And, like, I, I can understand. And it's, yeah, like you said, it's mostly nostalgia. Um, and it, it's always the same, like, three. So maybe if we could just get those three out of the way, it would be easier. <laughs> and not have to hear this all the time. But I understand. Um, uh, and this is talking about Baku gear and stuff. I don't want to talk about it too much. Um, so I'm going to leave this one. But if you want to talk about it in the comics, have at it. I want to have a conversation down there. Um, Kodak, shout out to Kodak. Uh, great YouTuber. Uh, great uh, Twitter. Does everything. Uh, cool guy. Uh, better TCG and toy product integration. Uh, he had a whole rant on this. You can go to his Twitter and check that out. He did have a, like a whole explanation of what he thought about that. Um, so uh, check out uh, Kodak on Twitter. Um, uh... <laughs> Animation. Da, 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 da. Anyway, uh, y'all, y'all get the the idea. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to start a conversation. You know, I'm going to this event, and I want to kind of be able to ask questions and get answers for you guys on certain things. Um, and I know, you know, I don't want to abuse the fact that I'm a Baku master and I get to go, and I'm just gonna go have fun. You know, I want to be able to report what you guys want. Um, out of a lot of the Bako Masters, I feel like I am m most entwined with the competitive aspect of it than most of them. I don't want to say that concretely, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, I want to be able to ask those questions for you guys and try to at least clear some things up. You know, I'm going to be in the room with Ventus Knight. I'm going to be in the room with Justin Gary and, and Gary, you know. Um, and it won't, it's not going to be the first time. Last time I was with him, we cleared up a whole thing about Frost Strike and Pack the Darkness. So the last time I talked to these people, I changed, I helped change the game. <laughs> so, I mean, I think I can do it again if they give me the opportunity to. So, uh, in the comments, I want you guys to tell me what do you guys want from Armored Alliance? And it, try not to make it complainy, just general, real, what would you like to see out of the thing? I know distribution sucks. It's probably going to get better. LG, LGS support's coming. Um, and uh, I've seen some stuff that I think means it's coming in a good way. Uh, so try to trust me on that. Um, and uh, other stuff. Uh, I can't think of anything. But, you know, keep it controlled. Because I want to be able to like show this comment section to Spin Master and get it out to them. So... Anyway, thank you guys for sitting through this. Kind of long, uh, but I, I think it was worth it. Um, I'm going to have a custom showcase coming up soon. Um, I have all these old Bakugan that some friends have given me. And look, I don't know who they are. I know that this is like Tigrero. <laughs> uh, if y'all want to see these, tell me. Because I'll do a video on them. I just won't be able to do much about them. I don't know like who they are. So if y'all wanted to just see them, I can show them to you. I don't think there's anything of much note here. Uh, but if you want to see that, tell me anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I can't wait to, uh, start all this AOA or AOA pff, armored Alliance stuff and get it to you guys. Uh, and this is kind of just the first step. So thank you for sitting with me through this whole thing and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.